Why are some animals popular while others are so unpopular? In the natural world, every animal has its place and purpose. Nature doesn't judge these animals, people do. For example, it's a common misconception that snakes are slimy and disgusting to touch. Not true. A snake's skin is smooth and dry. Another misconception is that snakes are aggressive and will attack humans for no reason. Also untrue. Almost all snakes, even poisonous ones, prefer to escape or hide unless they're surprised or attacked first. Snakes are very misunderstood animals. Snakes aren't the only animals that are misunderstood. People think that cockroaches are dirty pests that like to hide in dark, filthy places. They hate the idea that cockroaches eat rubbish and dead animals as they decay. People also believe cockroaches are covered in germs. In fact, cockroaches clean themselves constantly, as much as cats do. They prefer to live in clean places. It's humans who, by trying to trap or poison cockroaches, force them to hide wherever they can in order to survive. Luckily for them, cockroaches are very hard to destroy. They were here on the planet before humans appeared, and they'll probably be here after we've gone. Wasps also have a bad reputation. Many people hate wasps because they believe that wasps sting humans at a moment's notice. Actually, most wasp species don't sting at all. Those that do sting are generally protecting their young or responding to humans who shout or swing their hands at the wasp. Some wasp species do sting caterpillars, spiders and other insects. When stinging, the wasps inject their eggs into their living prey. The wasp larvae live inside and, when they're ready to leave, they eat their way out. Should we care about these misunderstood species? Yes, we should. Every animal species plays a crucial role in the ecosystem. Some help control other pest populations. Some help pollinate flowers. Some eat mildew and mold, and others protect food crops. Some help contribute to medical research. Even misunderstood animals are necessary, and in many ways they're beneficial to humans. If you're scared of spiders, here's some good news. Most of the approximately 43,000 species of spiders are not interested in you. Those that are aggressive can bite you, and yes, their bites hurt. But very few spider bites can kill you. If a spider bites you, try not to get upset. Stay calm and don't move around. Moving helps the venom, or poison, travel through your body faster. Call for help as quickly as possible. Vampire Bats – The Truth Exposed Are humans right to fear all things vampire? There are around 1,200 species of bats on the planet. Most of them eat insects or fruit. Some bats eat scorpions, frogs or other small animals. But there are some bats that aren't interested in any of those foods. These are the often feared vampire bats. And yes, it's true. Vampire bats do need to drink blood to survive. Why are so many people scared of bats? 
they're scared in part because there are so many myths or false stories about bats. One myth is that bats are flying mice. Another is that bats are blind, and so they can get caught in your hair. But the most popular myth by far is the one that connects vampire bats and the scary fictional creatures known as vampires. In novels, films, and television programs, fictional vampires use their sharp fangs to bite people in the neck, and then suck their blood. Real vampire bats do have fangs. They use them to make small cuts in an animal's skin, but they don't suck blood through their fangs. Instead, they wait until blood starts flowing from the cut. Then they lick the blood with their tongues, just as a kitten drinks milk from a bowl. Vampire bats get blood from birds, cows. Horses and other farm animals. They can drink gently from a sleeping animal for half an hour without waking it. Their bite isn't lethal, and the blood loss doesn't hurt the animals. Vampire bats can live for about two days without drinking blood. This is usually plenty of time to look for food, and. Unless there's no other food source available, a vampire bat won't bite a human. In general, vampire bats are comfortable and sometimes even friendly around humans. In addition, vampire bats are a valuable source of information for medical research. While they're drinking blood, these bats release substances that help blood keep flowing as they drink. Scientists are studying vampire bats to see if they can develop medication that works in the same way. Their research could one day help people with circulation problems or medical conditions such as heart attacks and strokes. A day in the life. Ah, <sighs> well, finally something is happening. Kim thought. So far, it had been the most boring summer ever. School was starting in less than a week, and she had nothing interesting to report to her classmates. Suddenly, loud beeps, warning that a lorry is backing up, broke the afternoon silence. Kim held her bottle of cold water against her forehead as she walked over to the bushes that separated her house from the one next door. I hope the new neighbors are cool," she thought as she looked at the stacks of boxes outside the lorry. Let's see. Hmm, lots of boxes. That one says kitchen stuff, and that one says Jane's stuff. Wow, what a huge TV! Oh, a keyboard. I wonder who plays that. That. Box says Jane's trophies. Hmm. I wonder who Jane is. And look at that—a water bowl with the name Cupcake on it. Maybe they have a cat. Thought Kim, and then she saw a long pink lead tied to one of the handles on the back door of the lorry. Whatever was on the other end of the lead was under the lorry, staying out of the hot sun. And it probably wasn't a cat. Kim stepped around the bushes to get a better look. Here, cupcake! Come here, girl! She called. She poured some of her water into the bowl, and called again. Here, cupcake! Come on out, little girl! Kim heard something move. A large dog crawled out from under the lorry, and then stood up. And shook itself. Well, look at you, Kim said. You're not a little girl, are you? Oh, but you look so sweet. Are you thirsty? Here, have some water. It was after the dog had finished the water and was happily licking Kim's hand that she looked up. 
I see you've met Cupcake, said a girl she'd never met before. I'm Jane. I'm Kim, she said. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the neighbourhood. They'd barely started talking when Kim heard someone shouting. From the other side of the bushes, her mum shouted, That dog's a pit bull, Kim! Get over here right now before that dog bites you! Those dogs are so aggressive! Come here! Mum! Kim said calmly. Relax! She's so friendly and sweet. Her name's Cupcake. I don't care what its name is. Come home now. Kim looked at Jane and then looked down at her feet, not sure of what to say next. Go ahead, Jane said. We can talk later and maybe you can show me how to get to school. Sure, Jane. I'd like that. And maybe we can take Cupcake for a walk. Well... Kim thought as she returned home. Maybe the rest of the summer won't be so boring after all.